My name is Mike Denty, and I'm 18 years old and a senior at Reading Memorial High School. I like skiing, traveling, uh, running, playing soccer, and just hanging out with friends. I have lived in Reading my whole life with my parents, my two older brothers, Matt and Mark, and my dog. I also live very close to my grandmother and a lot of my cousins that I get to see all the time. Uh, me, my brothers, and my cousins are very close, and we love spending time together, especially during the holidays every year. Uh, I'm also very lucky to have a bunch of friends here in Reading that I know I can always count on. And many parts of this poem make me feel very fortunate for having so many friends and family members around me in my life. First time I read the poem Happy the Man by John Dryden, I initially reacted by just feeling very happy. Uh, the way that Dryden talked about happiness coming from the joys we have right now in our life really resonated with me. And that anything that can happen tomorrow really doesn't matter because we have so many great friends and family members around us uh, right now. And with this mindset, it really made me feel more worry-free and a lot happier to just live in the present moment right now. Happy the Man by John Dryden. Happy the man, and happy he alone, he who can call today his own, he who, secure within, can say, tomorrow do thy worst, for I have lived today. Be fair, or foul, or rain, or shine, the joys that I have possessed, in spite of fate, are mine. Not heaven itself upon the past has power, for what has been has been, and I have had my hour. One of my favorite parts of the poem is when Dryden challenges tomorrow by telling it to do thy worst, to be fair or foul or rain or shine. He's so confident with all the happiness he has right now that nothing can really kick him down. And he's not worried about what tomorrow is going to bring. And I believe that thinking this way really intensifies all the great times that I can be having right now in high school. Unfortunately, as a senior in high school, I've gotten really caught up in applying to college this year and this has taken away from the happiness of my last year of high school. Instead of worrying about homework, tests, my job, and other responsibilities, I should try and focus more on enjoying all of the great times with family and friends my last year of high school. Because like Dryden said, what has been has been, and I have no power over anything in the past. Another reason that I really love this poem is because Dryden uses a lot of terms of ownership like possessive pronouns when he says that you should call today your own and that all the joys that I have right now are mine. And I believe that a lot of people, including myself, uh, don't really appreciate all the great happiness that we have in our life right now. And I think Dryden is trying to tell us to be more thankful for everything we have in our life. And this part of the poem really made me happy and more importantly, it put a lot of my life in perspective. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I am very close to my family, especially my two older brothers. My oldest brother has already graduated from college and has been working in Boston for a company for quite some time, and he will soon be moving out. And my other brother will be graduating from college this year and be finishing the officer training program he's in that will have him be in the active duty for the Army for the next four years. Uh, with this in mind, I really want to enjoy the time I have right now with all of my family because eventually I will not be living with my brothers and seeing them every day as I do now. The final reason that I really love this poem is because Dryden puts a bit of responsibility on the reader to really believe in what they're saying and believe in the happiness that they want to pursue. He does this by saying you need to be secure within. And I interpret this to mean that you need to let go of all your fears. I can't be afraid of my future, whether it be in the immediate future in high school or further down the road in college or even beyond that. Also, I think this means that you can't be afraid of what all of your past actions have led to right now in your life. For example, when I'm applying to college, I shouldn't be saying, oh, I should have done better sophomore year because I really have no control over my past, and we should really just be happy to live in the moment right now.